Hello everyone and welcome to our window display for the Christmas 2020, obviously at our shop Rescoli by Carlo. And without much further ado, let me show you what we've done for this year. And here it is. Welcome to Take Me to Wonderland. From where do we start? Basically, the idea started from a song, which is called Alice by Lady Gaga. And in the, in the lyrics, uh, she mentions, take me home, take me to Wonderland. Why was this idea selected? Basically, it was because um, everybody saying that I'll be home for Christmas from another song, which is a Christmas song. But it's obvious this year which has been practically dominated by COVID-19, uh, people should be at home during Christmas. So then we decided to do something creative, something original, and something that people can go, go to other places uh, through fantasy. Let's start with the process. What happened here? So we have the hot air balloons. There are four hot air balloons, which were uh, first, they were designed by our friend Charlie Briffa from Talbanda Carnival True. Uh, and they were molded through uh, with um, three ply, um, heated three ply and the base was created. Then we went to do some papier mache, thanks to my sister Manuela uh, for helping out. Uh, and we used recycled paper. Basically, it was uh, yellow pages, which now uh, they are no longer being uh, printed. Uh, so the paper was basically uh, recycled to do the papier mache. And in this footage, you can see the process how we did it. Afterwards, we used some fabric, some fair fabric, uh, which was also uh, recycled, it was unused, uh, and uh, it, they, they were just bits and pieces of this uh, fabric fair, um, and we created the hot air balloons. We had some also, uh, also some haberdashery we, we used along the way, uh, which is old uh, and we didn't really have any use to it. So let's consider it as also recycled from the bin. What we did next was we used some wood, which was also going to be thrown away. We cut it in, into the sizes we wanted and then we painted it with a wedding cake, which is from the famous French chic furniture paint. And then we used some rope uh, we found that was uh, thrown away and we thought that we might be using it, so we used the rope. And then we used a lot of baubles. Yes, they are plastic, uh, but they are handy and they will serve us for a lot more years because 
as you can see in other videos on our YouTube channel, you can upcycle uh, these warblers to your heart's content. What we did next, we used a lot of candles. So the, the hot air balloons are being carried upwards through these candles. Candles remind us of the spirit of Christmas and also the spirit of, of the nativity. Uh, we used some fur. We have ostrich fur. And we have a feather boa, like this one, ostrich fur. Uh, we also included a wooden horse. This wooden horse has a history. It's more than a hundred years old. It was done by hand by a master craftsman uh, on our island. Uh, and now it's waiting at our shop to be um, restored to its former glory. So basically, uh, this horse is here to stay with us a little bit more after Christmas until we finish our job. We dressed it up with some more fur, some more haberdashery and uh, the, the, the ostrich feather. Uh, we also used some candle, uh, some, some stars. Um, the stars uh, symbolize the, the star of Bethlehem, of course. So we, if you don't, you are not a believer, you can just enjoy our creation. But if you're a believer, there's a lot of metaphors going around our display. And the fact, for, for example, that we had four hot air balloons instead of three, it is also a metaphor to the uh, Advent wreaths, uh, where you have four candles, usually it's uh, three purple candles and one uh, pink candle, but we decided to do everything in white. And why is white? Because mainly um, it symbolizes purity and new beginnings. Uh, this year has been a very difficult year, uh, for many of us, of course, uh, there were losses, uh, there was sickness, there was uh, lockdowns, isolation, quarantines. So uh, let's hope that this Christmas will give us at least some peace and some peace of mind. So this is what our creation in our window display shows and of course take me to wonderland because wonderland is a personal interpretation also um wonderland reminds us of alice in wonderland of course with uh, with with stories by lewis carroll that mainly uh give us a hint to other dimensions of our brains and our our creative outpours and how we can go about with being creative and that this is what it is all about you can also see a lot of white plastic which is also recycled and uh, we'll be using it for other projects or not only on this one so instead of throwing it away we're basically doing some uh, other projects with it and behind this plastic curtain we have here, there is light. And that symbolizes the warmth and the love that we feel. Sometimes we don't understand. And basically it's the, 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 the light that shines our way and our path through our life. That's a bit inconspicuous. Uh, because we just wanted it to be there, but not to be seen, just be felt. Sorry if you're seeing cars passing through, because this is a shop and it's a window display and uh, obviously cars do pass from here. We hope you love or like at least our uh, window display for 2020 and uh, we wish you a, a lot of love, not only through Christmas, but especially through 2021, let's keep strong, let's keep safe and let, uh, let's start our process of rebirth, 
not only by living, but also and especially by doing. And doing is loving. See you next time. Ta-ta. Happy Christmas. <laughs>